Hey you guys, welcome back to the video. It's cold today in Florida, which is weird, but that's beside the point. I'm back to working on the 330i. I just got some parts in from FCP Euro. Um, unfortunately though, FCP Euro didn't send me everything. Um, so I'm gonna have to reuse uh, this here, which is where your electronics goes into your uh, mechatronics. This is the uh, this is uh, like the adapter piece in between. Um, the gaskets still look pretty good on it, although I, I really wish they would have sent me what I ordered. And then I'm gonna have to reuse one of my uh, sleeves here. Um, it's in fair condition, uh, so it, it might be all right. Um, but they did send me a new sleeve, thank God, and three of the other adapters here. So I should be able to make some progress. Um, I didn't exactly want to do it this way, but I need to get this car moved. Um, and I wanted to make some progress on the car. So hopefully um, this doesn't cause too much of an issue. Hopefully it was just that bag of uh, mechatronics. Uh, you see how it's all, uh, maybe that's bad lighting. You see how that's all bent in there. And the top of one of these was cracked at the bottom at the top so i'm hoping uh what i got today will make a difference um i'm gonna go ahead and get started um yeah so hopefully uh i'll, I'll go ahead and get this mechatronics in um after i put all the sleeves gaskets the mechatronic sleeves and everything in um and then i'm going to uh go ahead and fill it up with uh transmission fluid i got the genuine zf stuff so i bought the zf lifeguard it was pricey, but I got it because um, you want to use the right stuff because regular uh, automatic transmission fluid is one. It's a different color. It's red. This stuff is brown, so I assume it's a different mixture of whatever it's got going on in there. And I got a genuine ZF pan to replace my old pan. I think my old pan, the gasket was leaking. Um, I think the problem with the transmission itself was one, maybe that sleeve was bad, uh, but two, the gasket... Uh, around this pan uh, was leaking because I'm pretty sure, uh, well, I'm pretty sure it was leaking because there was a leak obviously at the bottom of my old pan. Um, so let me get this car all jacked up and get this progress going. Appreciate you guys watching. All right. All right, you guys, I'm now underneath the car and I've got the mechatronics unit back in. The electrical connector for it is up. Whoa, that's not a good, it's not a good angle. There we go, it's right there. That's a little bit tricky to get on, but it actually wasn't that bad. Um, I got all the bolts down here. I think there was a diff uh, like seven of them. I got those back on, they're all T40. I don't know why I disconnected this, so I have to put that back on there. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and get ready to uh, put this pan on. As you can see, all this fluid here, this is all from 
um, the transmission itself leaking. I believe it was from the gasket because there's fluid all the way around it. Um, but yeah, guys, just wanted to give you a little update on that. All right, let me get to putting this pan on. All right, you guys, I got the pan on. Some of these bolts are rusty, boy. Got the pan on, there's no oil in there currently. Um, I bent my heat shield a little bit. Everything else is looking pretty good. I think this is for the emergency brake, so I got that back on. Oh, uh, let's see. Got that back on. Pan's in here looking good. This is your drain plug, but the drain's good on that one. I gotta get ready to open my fill plug, which is hard to see. There it is, right there. Gotta get ready to open the fill plug. And then I'll go ahead and uh, put like four quarts, four, however much it takes, put like four or five quarts of the ZF uh, lifeguard transmission fluid in there. And then, uh, and then I'll go ahead and get the car heated up. I'll turn on IMPA, the BMW software. And then I'll go ahead and get the transmission up to 30 degrees Celsius, uh, which is what it calls for. I think it's 30 or 40. And um, then I'll go ahead and continue to fill it up. All right, this is very hard to film. Just kind of want to give you guys a little bit of progress. Show you what's popping. Um, there are definitely other YouTube channels to check out that have very good tutorials on this. Shop Life TV, check them out. Um, that's a really good one. All right, that's what we got going on here. All righty, let's keep it moving. You guys probably got a good frame on my nose right there. Okay, you guys, I realized that I did not film an ending to the video. Uh, so basically, I'm, I didn't have an opportunity to really do the adaptations reset. Um, a little bit occupied. Um, so I will be doing the adaptations reset in another video where I can do it successfully, do it comfortably because you have to go from zero to uh, fourth or go from zero mile per hour from a stop to fourth gear at 15 to 20 percent throttle and then continue at 20 to 25 percent throttle to six gear. Um, and from there, uh, you have to come to a dead stop and then let the car idle for 10 seconds, and then you literally have to do that nine times. Um, I did test drive the car around, and it was stumbling a little bit, but it felt better. I wanna say that it felt better. Um, but after I do the full adaptations reset, I will... Um... Hey, bud, you, you wanna say something? Okay, after I do the full adaptations reset, then I'll know exactly uh, if what I did helped or not. So, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned, subscribe, say hi boo. Catch you guys on the next one. Say bye Kim. Say bye Bob Oh, he's kicking it away. Okay, that means bye. Bye.